Hi, my name is Stefan Kemmer with uh, Vico Instruments. In this uh, short little video I would like to give you an overview over the uh, Dimension Edge Atomic Force Microscope System. The Dimension Edge is a tip scanning instrument that utilizes the same uh, scanner that is used on the uh, Dimension Icon and uh, has a programmable stage with a 150 mm by 150 mm inspectable area. Here we see the uh, dimension edge sitting on an air table. We can simply pull the front cover off and uh, look at the main components, optics, uh, the support structure, connection for application modules, and the uh, computer control stage, allowing a 150 by 150 millimeter inspectable area. We also see the uh, closed loop scanner, just dead center in the middle, coming from the uh, icon. When we uh, zoom in a little bit closer to the uh, area we can actually see a uh, this case a small sample mounted underneath the uh, the tip on the back side of the controller we have a dozen or so bnc's which can be used to input or output a variety of signals to the uh, dimension edge system the only connection from the controller to the uh, computer is a uh, simple usb cable The NanoDrive system also comes with a unique self-testing software. This is a Python-based software that allows basically all modules inside of the controller to be uh, fully tested for their functionality and performance. We can see here the test running. On the left side is a list of the uh, tests being uh, executed at the time. And uh, if they pass, I mean, they will be uh, marked with a uh, check mark and if not they will be marked with a red cross. Um, if you want to uh, find out what exactly these tests are doing you can just uh, extend the window here and uh, when you click on uh, a line item you get a uh, description of what test is executed with the detailed test results. Now let's get started uh, with take an image. We uh, uh, start our software. The first thing that's going to happen is that the uh, DSP code and the uh, corresponding libraries are loaded uh, from the computer onto the DSP board. And then our experiment selector is started. Here we see a bunch of uh, predefined experiments um, with, of course, space for uh, experiments that are created by the user. In this case, we select a simple tapping mode experiment. Settings are now loading. On the top, we're going to see the uh, experiment guidance. Um, we start with a laser alignment, so a couple of things to help the user there. Here we see a representation of the photo detector, and we are aligning the laser now on the uh, scan head to uh, move the uh, purple dot into the center of the detector. At the same time, the uh, green bar under the laser alignment icon will uh, switch from red to green, indicating the alignment is perfect. That just happened. Now we can close that window. Start the uh, tuning dialog for the cantilever where we want to find the resonance frequency. System is going to do that automatically for us. Um, select the proper cantilever oscillation amplitude and a corresponding set point uh, for the uh, feedback. Okay, that is done now. We can close uh, that window. Now we select the imaging channels. Um, we can select basically uh, 16 or even uh, more channels if we want to um, indicate that here simply by checking the box but uh, we just want to take a uh, height amplitude and uh, phase in the case here so we're gonna make a MFM experiment here where we use uh, tapping mode to gather topography and then the lift mode procedure to uh, gather the magnetic information you can see both line traces here in the oscilloscope window, top on the uh, MFM and the bottom on the regular face. Here we see uh, four images. Um, on the top we see the uh, two topography images. We have smart leveling enabled, an automatic uh, real-time plane fit just for a data display. Again we see the guided mode on top, everything is uh, green so we are in perfect uh, working conditions here. This is our feedback display uh, indicator. We see the feedback and the position of the uh, Z piezo updated in real time. Below that we have the uh, feedback control with our set point that was selected automatically and our PID control parameters. 
And now let's have a look at the uh, face images uh, on our lift line, which in this case is uh, the uh, MFM image. Comes out uh, very cleanly here. Again, we haven't adjusted any parameter. It's all default settings that we're using here. Now let's just uh, acquire some lines in real time to give you a feeling how uh, it feels. Notice the great separation between uh, topographic and uh, magnetic data using the uh, lift mode procedure. Okay, now let's jump ahead. We're almost finished here. Here we see the uh, magnetic pattern on our sample. Just a couple more lines to finish. And then we are basically done. Again, this is the, the first image right after going into feedback. We don't have to wait for anything to uh, stabilize. Um, system is uh, very stable with a very low drift. One way we achieve the high stability of the system, which already allowed you to take the first image, is uh, that we uh, heat the actual support structure. As you can see here, we measure the uh, structure and then uh, bring it up to a user-selected set point, typically two degrees above room temperature. It's one of the reasons why the system is so stable. And now we're at the end of our short Dimension Edge uh, product video. Uh, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, contact uh, Vico if you have any questions. I would like to get more information.